Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, for you guys, um, hopefully, you were expecting this video. Um, I got my home run derby predictions. Um, so I think it's gonna be exciting home run derby. I don't think it's gonna be as exciting as last year, um, because it's not in Coors Field. There's more home runs in Coors Field. It'll still be really exciting. It's at Dodger Stadium. Um, so is the All Star game. Um, so, yeah, I mean eight. Eight contestants, they're all really good home run hitters. Um, the first one is Kyle Schwarber and Albert Pujols. Um, this one is kind of a no-brainer for me, but I'm really happy that they put Albert Pujols in the um, home run derby um, because it might be his last season. Uh, so I'm going to go with Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber has been playing unbelievable this year, and he has a very clean swing. Also, I think Albert Pujols is going to get tired easily. So I have Kyle Schwarber winning round one pretty easily. But I'm glad that um, Albert Pujols is, you know, in the All-Star game. And, um, or home run derby and All-Star game. So Juan Soto versus Jose Ramirez. I think this is going to be the closest match out of the first round. I do think the Acuna Pete Alonso one will actually be closer than most people probably think. Um... At first, I was like, Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. This is an easy one. It's definitely Jose Ramirez. But now, I'm thinking that... Because Juan Soto can hit it opposite field and... Like, he can hit it left field. He can hit it center. He can hit it right. That's why I'm leaning toward Juan Soto. At first, I was like, oh, Jose Ramirez, you know. He's definitely better, but... I don't know. It seems like Soto hits a lot. He hits... um. Um, more distant homers, like farther homers. Uh, so I got to go with Juan Soto on this one, guys. You let me know what you guys think. That is a really tough pick for me. I'm not going to pick the high seeds. I mean, maybe for the first round, but uh, I'll try not to pick all the high seeds. I just feel like, you know. Okay, Corey Seager versus Julio Rodriguez. Corey Seager versus Julio Rodriguez. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go with, you know, Corey Seager has been destroying the baseball lately. Homers in, He had homers in five straight games, guys. That's really hard to do. He even had one on my Oakland A's um, when they tried to come back, and they did come back, and then the A's pulled ahead and eventually won that game. But Corey Seager is so good, and he's got a really good swing. Um, very powerful swing. He hits the ball usually to right field or right center. He doesn't have the greatest opposite field power. Julio Rodriguez, though, is a good young player. Um, actually has a lot more homers than you expected this year. He's been very, very good. But I have to go with Corey Seager. He's just got more experience, more power. I feel like he's going to do a little bit. I think this will be a close matchup, though. Uh, Pete Alonso and Ronald Acuna. Now, the no-brainer pick is Pete Alonso. And I'm going to pick Pete Alonso, but I'm going to explain why, and I do think this is going to be a close match. Pete Alonso is just more, he's got a, he's more powerful. I mean, Acuna has only played a little bit this season, and he's only hit not many homers, but he has hit some, like, far homers. He's hit probably, like, 440. I know he hit two against the A's one night, and that was um, bad, but... I got to go Pete Alonso. Acuna has a good swing, but Pete Alonso's won two straight home run derbies, and he's won them with ease. I remember the last round of last home run derby, and he was just, like, swinging and listening to the music, you know. He was feeling it, so. Now we have the second round. Kyle Schwarber versus Juan Soto. This is so hard. I want to go Kyle Schwarber. He has more homers. I feel like he has a better swing. But I wanna go for the, I'm gonna go for the upset here, and I'm gonna go Juan Soto. Now listen, I feel like Schwarber can hit a ton. I think this one will go into this will be the only round out of the whole thing that goes into extra rounds. Um, I think I don't know who would go first, but I feel like Soto with the opposite field power, guys, he, and he doesn't really get as tired. Schwarber might get a little tired. I don't think so, but Soto can hit it anywhere really. Um, and he doesn't seem to get too tired, you know. I don't know. I think stamina is going to be very important. Now, the next round, 
Pete Alonso and Corey Seager. This one's going to be very close. Um, but I have Pete Alonso winning. They're both so good. The power is there for both of them. They both hit homers. But Pete Alonso is so good in the home run derby. Unless he chokes this year, I couldn't see why he wouldn't beat Co- Corey Seager, even though Corey Seager is very good. And lastly, Juan Soto versus Pete Alonso. Um, and this is where I say three times in a row for Pete Alonso. That's who I'm picking. You guys let me know in the comments. I definitely think Pete Alonso is going to win three in a row. He's got the power. I mean, he can... He's got second most home runs in this. Yes, Schwarber does have the most, but is Schwarber going to be able to hit him in a row? Or is he going to get tired? I don't know. I think Juan Soto has a chance, too. Jose Ramirez definitely has a chance. Corey Seeker has a chance. Acuna, everyone has a chance. I don't know if Albert Pujols might... I don't know if Albert Pujols will win it, but I don't know. This is this is my tier list, or not tier list. These are my picks. Let me know what you guys think. Um, did I pick right? Did I pick wrong? What would you change? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.